Hello, I'm Dakota May, and welcome back to the Minecraft world. It's another beautiful day in the world today, and I just got done running around in the plant basement because I've been figuring out where to plant the... the... the plants. <laughs> We gotta plant the plants somewhere. So yeah, I just, I took a whole bunch of signs and you know, when we dug this place out, this has been a very long time ago, we we dug out these little hallways here. And I, I've been assigning each of the areas slowly because I, you know, at first I wasn't really sure, you know, how I wanted to design this. It didn't have a clear idea in my head, but then I decided, you know what, sometimes you just gotta dive into it. So. This right here is the area that I've assigned to pumpkins and melons, which I want to build this farm today. And the reason for that is because I've decided I need a local source of emeralds because when I built the witch farm and the guardian farm, I was thinking, oh, I can trade cod and sticks uh, for emeralds and it'll be, you know, free and it'll be great and I can do that so easily. But it turns out I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm really quite lazy and I don't want to travel all the way out there to get those materials when I need some emeralds. And so what has ended up happening is I've traded away an enormous amount of iron in order to get emeralds. And, and I, I have better uses for my iron, to be honest. So I think I want to go ahead and build this melon and pumpkin farm today and then move a couple of villagers down here so that I'm going to have like basically an emerald factory in my plant basement, which is kind of a, a strange thing to have in a plant basement and hopefully we can also, you know, decorate a little bit and deal with some, <laughs> some of these gross walls. I hear slime. Do you guys hear that? This is, That does remind me, this is something else that we need to deal with is because there are slime chunks down here. And now that I think about it, that's actually a really good point. That's, that's kind of a top priority because if I'm gonna be moving villagers down here, I can't have them getting eaten by slime. So, I think I should probably slime proof first. Like, I know there's a, oh, there's a slime over here too. Yeah, I know this right here is a slime chunk. Um, cause I, you know, the cactus farm is in a slime chunk. <laughs> anyway, slime proof. Yes, go. And look at that. A wild bubble column has appeared. Oh my God, guys. I am unbelievably excited okay like it, you've no idea okay how many times i've had to cut my video clips coming up this uh the scaffolding that was here because it took 12 years to climb that scaffolding and so i always had to cut but now oh <laughs> got stuck but now look at how fast it is i don't have to make a cut anymore ah okay sorry youtube nerd moment <laughs> Anyway, celebrations aside, I also carpeted over the hallways and I put some lights underneath the carpet so that we won't have any more slime spawning over here. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for decorating these halls, but I figured that uh, gray carpets is, is nice and neutral and it should go with pretty much anything. And then, like, you know, basically I can make changes as needed in the future. And I also took the time to figure out what I'm going to do with this space. I dug out, um, the farm's going to go on this side, and so I dug out a place for that to go. And then the, the loot output is, is going to go, like, you know, right along this wall. And then on this wall over here, I've uh, dug these little cubbies. This is where the villagers are going to go, where I can trade in my melons and pumpkins. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the plan. And then I was also thinking um, for in here, it's just going to be like a super basic melon and pumpkin design, the same one that everyone uses, the one that's... Uh, designed by Il Mango, I believe it is, uh, with the, the pistons and the observers and yeah, because why mess with perfection? <laughs> I'll put a link to his video down in the description for you guys in case you've never seen it before. One quick note about 
building this farm in survival, trapdoors make life so much easier. It's just, if you use trapdoors to place your pistons and your observers and the redstone dust that you need to place, it just, yeah, it, it makes things so, so, so much easier. 10 out of 10, would recommend. And just like that, the farm is all completed. You can see the minecart going around under it, collecting all of our loot for us. And we've already got some melons and pumpkins in the output chests. So now that's all complete and it's time to turn our attention to the next phase of the project, which is going to be our villagers. So I've been thinking, trying to figure out the best way to go about this and I think the best thing to do is going to be to breed up because I've, I've got villagers up in the clock tower and so if I breed up a couple of villagers and then move those two down here then I can breed those two again and get more villagers. Right? <laughs> So hopefully that will be less villager moving, even though there will be like a little bit of time waiting for the new villagers to grow up. I think it will be okay and not the end of the world. <laughs> I hope. Okay, yeah, so getting the villagers down here, definitely a huge pain in the butt. You guys, you're annoying. <laughs> you are so annoying. <laughs> oh no, where'd he go? Uh-oh, he was, he was just here. Dude, dude. Uh, oh, <laughs> there he is. Okay, oh my gosh, guy. Well, I guess you did find yourself a composter, so that makes sense. Here you go. Get get in the boat. Get in get in the boat. Get in the boat. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Whew. Sheesh. You know, moving villagers is one of my least favorite things in the whole entire world. They're a huge pain in the butt to try to move around. <sighs> I knew this was going to be the most painful part of the project, and that's really why I wanted to only move two villagers down here and then just breed up the rest of them, but oh my gosh, that took forever. <laughs> but eventually, with much pushing and shoving, <laughs> we have succeeded, and now this part, this part's the easy part. I just got to boat this guy and rail the other guy over into here and then just make sure they don't escape is... It shouldn't be too difficult from here, but, oh my gosh. Villagers, you're a pain in the butt, guys. You're a pain in the butt. Oh my God, that took forever. So it's actually the next day in real life for me because it took so long to get five villagers that had melon and pumpkin traits. But look, 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 it totally worked. I have five villagers that will trade melons and pumpkins. Oh my gosh. I also put in this um, 
little bit of decor with this um, pumpkin and leaf floor. I'm I'm not entirely sold on that, to be honest. Let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of feeling like something else might actually work better, but uh, it's functional. <laughs> At the very least, it's functional. There is a problem, though. While I was waiting for the villagers to breed and grow up, I did some cleaning in these areas. I, I cleaned up these walls. I, again, I didn't have any particular style in mind or anything. I just wanted to clean. And now this area looks like a hotel. Uh, I, I, you know, when I had the no particular theme in mind, hotel was definitely not on the list of possibilities, you know? Like, so maybe if I mess up these walls and texture them, we'll get a little bit less of the hotel vibes. I'm <laughs> really hoping because I don't want my plant basement to look like a hotel. Like, that's just weird, okay? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with the hotel plant basement? Like, I don't even know what, how, how did I end up with a hotel look? I don't want a hotel look. So, I mean, that does, textured, it definitely looks less plain, you know, like down here is like super duper plain. So, uh, I feel like, I feel like this is an improvement for sure. But, I'm not sure that this is actually helping. Oh no! No, this is terrible! Ugh. Okay, I, I, how, how am I gonna have this not look like a hotel? I'm gonna have to think about that. But I also finished up doing a little bit more decorations in here. We've got some brick for contrasting colors, and then I put in an emerald ceiling just, you know, because. And this thing has been cranking out the melons and pumpkins this whole time. So that's awesome. Um, I would like, hopefully, to be able to get these guys converted so that we get better trades on our melons and pumpkins. So I did build back in here. I built this little dark room. And so far, I haven't had a zombie spawn in here. But I did walk in here once and find two creepers in the boat. And that was, that was terrifying. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't recording for that, but ooh, that was an exciting couple of minutes. But yeah, um, hopefully we'll get a, a zombie village, or not a zombie villager, just a regular zombie to spawn in there, and then I'll be able to convert these guys and get better trades. Yay! And figure out how to make this not look like a hotel, okay? Those are my priorities right now. Better trades, not look like a hotel. Good news, everyone! I textured all the walls and it still looks like a hotel! <laughs> also, this happened! Yay! The zombie spawned! Trapped him in the boat. He can even hold an item, so that's perfect. That means he won't despawn. So, awesome! Uh, and it's thundering. Uh, don't, don't mind the thunder. <laughs> So I'm just going to get this all set up so that we can have a little little villager converting station and get these guys uh, converted so that we get some better trades. And I'm going to pretend like these hotel hallways aren't out here. So we'll just we'll ignore that for the time being and we'll focus on our our beautiful new friend. <laughs> what just happened? Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh <laughs> I have a zombie in a minecart in a boat. <laughs> oh no, now he's free. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that I I wasn't expecting that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, dude. Yeah, we got to got to get you parked. You gotta get you in place so that we can can build this converting station. Yeah, so basically what I need to do is I need to get the zombie into position. He needs to be in that corner so that I can drive the villagers up to him and then he can chew on their faces. Yeah. Because that's the kind of person he is, you know, he likes to chew on faces. So we'll put those up there. 
and then just need to gather up these couple of things. <laughs> okay, nice, not bad. Okay, now if I can get him out of that minecart without uh, let's not give you a sword just yet. Let's make sure that you're gonna be in there because if he gets free Oh, just like that. Okay, so glad I didn't give him that sword. Oh my goodness <laughs> No, no, dude, dude uh, uh, No, no, now I'm now I, oh, I whacked him by mistake. Oops <laughs> Oh Whoops, dude, you're annoying. Okay, like seriously now I have to do that all over again. Ow <laughs> Well Zombie going into position, take two. Now we're almost done with the curing process. I'm just waiting for the last guy to finish healing up, but look at this. One pumpkin, one melon for an emerald. Oh, we're so rich. Infinite emeralds, infinite emeralds from this. I I gotta admit, this, <laughs> this took way longer than I expected, but I think it's really gonna pay off. I have some projects in mind um, that I'm gonna need a bunch more emeralds for for the future, and this is going to be much better than trading away all of my iron. <laughs> yes! Ah, and I can even heal up my tools a little bit while I'm here, which will save me a big old trip out to the gold farm to heal up just like one tool, which, you know, if I need to heal up several tools, it's fine to take a trip out to the gold farm, you know, that, that works out very well, but when it's just one, eh. I don't necessarily want to make a whole big trip for just one tool, so maybe I should get more tools too. <laughs> Come on, dude, are you gonna heal? No, he says, no, I'm not gonna heal, I'm just gonna stay a zombie holding this minecart track forever. 
<laughs> I think he's going to heal. I think he's going to heal up very soon. <laughs> and sure enough, the moment I ended that last clip, this guy cured up and he is now all good to go as well. So that's five villagers now with their trades at one pumpkin and one melon per emerald. So hooray! <laughs> This is all set up and this should be, like I said, this should be a basically infinite amount of emeralds that will last me forever, plus all the food that I could possibly want from these guys, I will have tons and tons and tons of golden carrots from these guys. So I feel like this was a very, very productive day, but oh my gosh, this, this took me ages. I am really, really bad at working with villagers and it takes me 12 years to do anything with villagers and this involved five villagers, except more than five villagers because I had to um, uh, get rid of uh, quite a few of them because they didn't have the melon and pumpkin trades and so there was like, I don't know, a lot of villagers. I had really bad luck with them and it, it it took a long time. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm saying is that I'm out of time for today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, all of that fun YouTube stuff. Thanks again for watching, guys, and ta-ta for now.